In this video, you will learn how to develop a decision tree model in PySpark. In decision tree, the goal is to create a model that predicts the value of a target variable by learning simple decision rules inferred from the data features. Let's import Spark session from PySpark.SQL import Spark session. We will also import functions import PySpark.SQL.Functions as F. Let's create the Spark session and save in object Spark. I will call this class Spark session dot builder dot get or create. Let's execute our code. I will read a CSV file and save in a variable df. I will call this object Spark. From this, I will call read dot CSV and I will pass my CSV file name iris underscore dt dot CSV. I'll pass one parameter in for schema is equal to true. This will give us the column type and the second parameter is header. This will give us the column names. Let's execute our code. To look at the data frame, we use the method show. I will write df dot show. Here in the output, you can see we have this data frame. We have columns such as sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and species. Species is our target variable. We want to predict the species of a class based on this independent variable. There are three species, 0, 1 and 2. This is a multi-class problem. Now let's see uh, this species here. I will write df dot group by and we want to group by species dot count dot show we are doing the ada we are understanding the data frame and here in the output you will see we have three species one two and this zero and all of them are in equal number that is 50 50 50 per class let's look at the total uh, number of samples in our data frame we will use the method count df dot count in the output you can see there are total 150 rows or 150 samples in our data frame we can also check the number of columns we will write length of df dot columns and there are total five columns in our data frame we can also look at the column types we will write df dot print schema and here you will see we have the column types here sepal length sepal width they are of they are of type double and our target variable integer this the species variable is of type integer we can also get the descriptive statistics using the method describe i'll write df dot describe dot show and here in the output we got the descriptive statistics we have such as count minimum no sorry mean standard deviation minimum and maximum we can also use the method head df dot head and let's look at five rows and here in the output you will see we got five rows here using the method head now let's create a vector assembler uh, next a vector assembler is you know we pass our independent variables in the vector assembler and not the target variable Vector assembler is a transformer that combines a given list of columns into a single vector column. It is useful for combining raw features and features generated by different feature transformers into a single feature vector. In order to train a machine learning model in PySpark, let's import the vector assembler from PySpark.ml.feature import vector assembler. I'll make one variable uh, assembler. Before that, I'll print the column names df dot columns. Now I will make one as variable assembler, and then I will call the class vector assembler. And inside this, our first parameter is input columns, and we will pass the list of independent variables here and all these variables are independent variable except the species that is our target variable i'll copy this variable names from here put it here 
and pass this here I'll put a comma and then we will have the output column I will write output column and our output column name will be features all these independent variables will get converted into a new column that column will be called as features let's print assembler and it says that it is a vector assembler to get all these column names we will need to fit this on the data frame I'll make one new variable output and then I will call this assembler and fit this that is transform it on the data frame df now let's do output dot show and here in the output you can see we got a new column here that is features it has all the independent variables we can look at this column features I'll write output dot select features and let's also look at the class species dot show and here in the features column you will see we have values of uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 there are total 4 values because we are having total 4 independent variables 1, 2, 3 and 4 that is why we got uh, 4 values here and this is our you know final column that we are going to use for the development of the machine learning model now we are going to create a final data frame and in that data frame we will have only these 2 columns we don't need all these columns because we have already converted this new column features and that has all the independent variables that is why in our final data frame we will have only these two columns I'll make the final data frame I'll write model underscore df and then I will uh, just copy this code from here and paste it here and let's execute our code now let's see model underscore df dot show and in the output you can see we have these two columns only features and species now we are going to split this data frame into train and test in our training data set we will have 70 percent samples and in test data set we will have 30 percent sample i'll write training underscore df and then test underscore df then I will call this model underscore data frame I will call the method random split and I want 70% for training that is 0.7 and 30% for test that is 0.3 let's execute our code let's look at the count of training and test data frame I will write training data frame dot count there are total 105 samples in training data frame then test underscore data frame dot count there are total 45 samples in our test data frame now let's fit the decision tree algorithm let's import the class from pyspark.ml.classification import decision tree classifier and we will also import the evaluator that is the multi classification evaluator because our target variable has more than two levels let's execute our code now we are going to make an object of this class decision tree classifier df underscore classifier is equal to decision tree classifier and inside this we will pass our label column our label column is species and we want to fit this on this training data set we will pass this training data set here let's execute our code now we have fit the model on this training data set we will make predictions on the test data frame and save the result in a new variable I will make one variable df underscore predictions I will call this df underscore classifier dot transform and I want to get the prediction for the test data frame I have passed here let's execute our code now let's look at the prediction save in this result df underscore predictions dot show and here you will see in the output we got the actual values as well as the predicted value the actual value of species is zero the model also predicted correctly that is zero and then we have the other values and we have the other predictions here uh, we got the predictions for the test data set now it's time to evaluate the model we will find the accuracy of these predictions let me make one 
variable df underscore accuracy I will call this multi class evaluator and then I will pass the label column the label column is species and then I will pass the metric name the metric name is going to be accuracy and then let's evaluate it and we want to evaluate in on the predictions that we have saved df underscore predictions let's execute our code let's print this df underscore accuracy and the accuracy of our model is 88% 0.88 that is 88% of the time our model will make accurate predictions then we can also calculate precision I'll make one variable df underscore precision and then I will call this multi class evaluator I will pass this label column which is going to be species then I will pass the metric name and the metric name is going to be weighted precision and I want to evaluate on the predictions that is df underscore predictions and now let's see the precision here I'll print df underscore precision our precision is 0 0.991 that is 90 percent it is also very good and very high we can also uh, plot, uh, we can also get the important features from our model I will call this df classifier object and from this I will call feature importance and let me print this column name before df dot columns so there are total you know four independent variables one two three and four that is why here we got four and it says that the first independent variable is 0.01 percent important that is what only one percent important but the second variable that is you know sepal width uh, is 54 percent important and the third one is petal length it is 44 import 44 percent important and so on we can also print the AUC for our model let me make one variable df underscore AUC and then I will call this multi class evaluator I will pass the label column and the label column is going to be species and then I want to evaluate it on this uh, df underscore predictions and now let's print AUC the AUC is 80% 88% and this is also very high and very good this is how you can develop a decision tree model in PySpark I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.